be announcing the three winners of the free solar return chart reading with me. The winners are Kiki88880, Blueheart CH4XG, Chicago Shidel 4054. So if you're one of the lucky winners, let us know in the comments so that I can schedule you for your free reading. So if you didn't win, don't get discouraged. I, I do this contest every month. So if you already commented in my other videos, I'm going to encourage you to keep commenting on all my videos. Make me notice you. If you enjoy the content of this video, please hit like, share and subscribe. Aries Ascendant Sun or Moon. This new moon is happening in your sixth house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning and possibly some endings because whenever we begin something new, something has to end. The sixth house is the house that rules over our daily routine. It rules over our exercise regimen, our diet. How do we take care of ourselves? How do we take care of our pets? It also rules over the work that we do on a daily basis. This is also the house where we find our self-sabotaging habits, like a bad diet, bad eating habits, drinking too much, smoking, all the things that we do to self-sabotage. It also rules over our known enemies. This is the house that also rules over our co-workers. Our co-workers could become our known enemy if we're competing for overtime or for a higher position. So Aries, this is an excellent lunation for you to start a new daily routine, a new exercise regimen, change your diet. New Moon has supporting energy from Saturn who is going to keep you accountable and make you stick with your diet and your exercise regimen. And for you Aries, this means that you have to have some endings in the way that you did your daily routine. It's not lining up with this new energy that is asking you to eliminate your bad habits or things that don't work and things that are not going to align with the brand new energy of this new moon. Some of you could be adopting a new pet at this time or you could put a, or you could also put your pet on a new diet. If you've been having a problem with a coworker or with your boss, and for some of you, this could be because of discrimination or, or perhaps some unfair work practices. This could be the time that you decide that you've had enough, you quit your job, or you could decide to initiate a lawsuit against your employer. And for some of you who are ill, this could be the time that you begin a new treatment or a new medication. It's an excellent time for you to go and get your physicals done. Some of you could be starting a new job after this lunation. This connects harmoniously with Uranus going retrograde in your second house. This is the area where you're going to have a breakthrough, which is going to be really helpful for people who have been stuck in this area because they've been looking for work or trying to find a way to earn a living and nothing has come up yet. Uranus is going to help you have a breakthrough in this area. Uranus is going to help you rebel and perhaps try something that is unusual, something that is so different this is a positive way to use this Uranian energy. The second house rules over the mouth, what goes in and what comes out. So if your usual diets have not been working out, and they're not been giving you any results, no weight loss, try something that is a bit different and unusual, a different type of eating, a different type of diet. This will work out for you better than you sticking to what you always do. Some of you will have a financial windfall. That will be your breakthrough. And this is because of the conjunction of Uranus to fix star Algo. It all depends on how this is aspecting your natal birth chart. Your ruling planet Mars is not aspecting this lunation. However, he's very active at this time. He's at the anoretic degree in Gemini and aspecting Neptune, who's also at an anoretic degree, 29 degrees of Pisces. This is a square aspect that can push you into taking action without really thinking your actions thoroughly. I've spoken at length about this aspect in the introduction and it specifically is going to aspect you because you are Mars, you are the person who's taking the action. Your impulsive or reckless actions here could impact your life negatively. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com.
Taurus ascendant sun or moon this lunation is happening in your fifth house this is where you're going to have a brand new beginning and perhaps some endings because whenever we have a brand new beginning we have to have some endings the fifth house is a happy house it's a lucky house it rules over our good luck karma good luck that we earned in our past life or early in our life for our good deeds this new moon is activating that karma for you to use it in this lifetime the fifth house rules over our creativity our creative ability and our greatest creation being our children it rules over our talents it rules over entertainment and romance so having a new beginning in the fifth house the area of children it means that some of you could be having new beginnings with your children getting them ready for the school year buying new clothes books pencils and everything that they need in order to be productive in school this could also include reorganization of your life. Like some of you could be ending your summer flings and, and trying to start a new relationship that could at least last you through the winter. Others of you could be having a new beginning because you're ending, you're ending that lifestyle of being out and partying all night. You're getting serious. The summer is over. So you're beginning a whole new lifestyle. And some of you could have probably gained a little bit of weight because of eating out at restaurants, entertaining yourselves and your family. You're realizing that it's time to get serious and start eating a healthier diet or perhaps incorporating some type of exercise that is also entertaining, some type of exercise that you like, perhaps playing tennis or dancing for exercise. Some of you could be deciding to start a family. You're, you're talking about getting pregnant with your partner. Others of you could be suddenly starting a brand new relationship at this time. Uranus has been transiting in your sign since 2018 and you've already felt the energy of Uranus retrograde a few times before. Uranus is going retrograde for the last time in your sign. He's asking you to go over certain things about your identity. And if you've been stuck with something in this area, you're going to have a, you're going to have a breakthrough. Something that you've been wanting to happen is, is just suddenly going to happen. And for others, it could be a sudden change in your relationships because the first house is the ascendant and the ascendant looks across the descendant. You're looking at somebody else, have somebody else, a partner, a, a partner or a spouse, a business partner is reacting to the sudden change, sudden change you're making. The sudden rebellion that has become you at this time. Taurus, this is your last chance to get it right. This is your last chance to rebel. It's the last chance for you to free yourself. Be yourself. Be true to yourself. How do you want others to see you? Be authentic, even if it's different or weird. Your ruling planet Venus is not aspecting this lunation. Venus is currently transiting the sign of Libra. So you're feeling confident about issues in your Libra house because Venus is dominant in that sign. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own NATO placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Gemini ascendant sun or moon this lunation is happening in your fourth house this is where you'll have a brand new beginning and perhaps an ending because whenever we begin something new something has to end the fourth house is an angle house and when an angle house is activated it activates all the other angles in your chart so essentially this means that this lunation could be absolutely life-changing for you Gemini is going to be aspected by this lunation in a square aspect. A square aspect is a challenging aspect that will push you into taking action. So keep that in mind. And you have the aggressive energy of Mars transiting your sign at the anaretic degree. I spoke about this at length in the introduction. The fourth house is the most vulnerable house in the zodiac. It deals with our emotions, our hidden resentments that we have probably to that we have towards our family or our mother. The fourth house is a parental axis. It will deal with one of the parents, the more nurturing parent. So it could be that your mother was more nurturing or your father was more nurturing. It just depends on the individual. Some of you, the new beginning could be quite simple. It could be that you're deciding to reorganize your house, clean up your house and prepare for renovation. Or perhaps you had some guests who were staying over for the summer and they're now leaving and you have to reorganize your life. Others of you could be moving homes at this time. There is an ending in an old home and a new beginning in a new home. Gemini has Jupiter transiting their sign. Jupiter is bringing fortune and expansion in your life. 
hopefully not expanding you too much. That is another effect of Jupiter transiting your first house. You're very likely to gain weight. So perhaps this new moon is asking you, what are you cooking in your home? How are you nurturing yourself or over nurturing yourself? Perhaps it's time for you to start a new diet and a new workout regimen that you can do in the privacy of your home. Uranus is transiting retrograde in your 12th house. This is the area where we are blind. It's an area where we need other people to help us see. This is the house of our hidden enemies. It's the house of self-sabotage. We self-sabotage through our bad habits, drinking too much, doing drugs, having illicit affairs. This is the area where Uranus is giving you, this is the area where you're going to have a breakthrough. The 12th house also rules over places like hospitals, prisons, and far off foreign lands. This is the house of the subconscious. So you could have a breakthrough in your subconscious, or you could have sudden insight through your dreams. This is also the area of generational karma. This is karma that is passed down to us through our, because of the family that we're born into, our last name. So some of you could rebel and decide not to let the generational karma define who you are in this lifetime. It's not your baggage to carry anymore. And this could be sudden breakthroughs in areas of addiction, healing, messages through dreams, or the sudden opening of your third eye. In the 12th house, we rely on our intuition, our subconscious, and our psychic ability. Your ruling planet Mercury is currently transiting the sign of Leo and forming a harmonious aspect to your sign. So you have some opportunities to do things correctly, to really think about what truly makes you happy before you make any major decisions. Mercury also rules the sign of Virgo, ruling this lunation. Mercury is not aspecting this lunation. He's in a square aspect to planet Uranus, who's currently transiting retrograde in your 12th house area. So you could be the bearer of negative news to others, or you could be receiving some unpleasant news as a result of this aspect. This is also the same aspect that could push you into taking action. So the news that you receive at this time could be the reason why you're being pushed into taking action. But I'm going to advise you to really think about the actions that you're going to take at this time. And if you're doing anything that is self-sabotaging, like drinking and driving, this is not going to end very well for you or for people around you. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Cancer Ascendant Sun or Moon. This new moon is happening in your third house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning and perhaps some endings. Because whenever we start something new, something has to end. The third house is the house that rules over our immediate environment, our siblings. It rules over the mind, our thinking ability and our self-talk. It also rules over our learning ability, new learning, learning ability, learning new skills or a new language. It, it also rules over our gadgets like our phone and our computers and vehicles because we do need our vehicle to get around in our neighborhood or to drive back and forth to work. Some of you could have a new beginning in your immediate environment, your neighborhood. The new beginning could be that you're moving from your familiar immediate environment to a new neighborhood. And of course, if you've moved to a new neighborhood, you have a new beginning with your neighbors. And others who are still in the same neighborhood, you could have a new beginning with your neighbor, a different way of communicating. Or perhaps some of you are going to decide to start a workout regiment like walking around the neighborhood with your neighbor, or you're going to do this by yourself, but it's going to be within your neighborhood. And some of you could have a new beginning with your siblings or your childhood friends. Well, others of you could be deciding to learn a new skill or a new language. And for some of you who've been having mental challenges, mental, mental health problems, you could decide to seek therapy at this time. It will be very helpful for you to talk about your problems with a professional. Uranus is currently transiting your 11th house of Taurus. This is where you're going to have a breakthrough or a rebellion. The 11th house rules over the groups that we belong to, the social media platforms that we belong to, the organizations that we are a part of. It rules social media platforms. It also rules our friends, 
our uncles and our elder siblings. The 11th house rewards all the work that we did in the 10th house. So this means that this is the house where we receive the promotions, the accolades, acknowledgement among our peers or in the groups that we belong to. This is the house of wish fulfillment. This is a happy house. Uranus is negatively aspected because the ruler of this lunation Mercury is is because the ruler of this lunation is forming a square aspect. So there could be some arguments or disagreements or some bad news in the groups that you belong to. So having a breakthrough or rebellion could be very positive for you here, especially because Taurus is a sign that sextiles your sign. So there's opportunities here. These opportunities will come up suddenly or by you rebelling in some way. So if you've been trying to join a certain club, social media platform, or organization you could be suddenly accepted into this organization or for some and for some of you that have been looking for a benefactor who can help who can help you with your business ideas this is the time that something is going to come through somebody, somebody will show up and help you achieve your hopes dreams and wishes cancer I think this lunation is going to be very positive for you it's going to have a lot of opportunities for you to advance your hopes dreams and wishes and this is because you sextile the sign of Virgo. However, let's keep in mind that the moon is being aspected negatively by the opposition from Saturn. However, let's keep in mind that your ruling planet, the moon, is being aspected negatively by, on, by an opposition from Saturn. And Saturn rules your partnership area. So you probably have to meet your spouse, your business partnership, or, or anyone who you have a committed type of relationship halfway there has to be some leeway here there has to be some room for negotiation and probably making some really serious decisions this opposition could have you feeling a little bit down and depressed just keep in mind that this feeling is going to pass within a couple of hours because the moon moves very fast if you've not listened to the introduction of this video i'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction the information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements and if you need further guidance i suggest that you take advantage of my 80 dollar mini reading special so that we can go over your chart book me at rachel-mayo.com leo ascendant sun or moon this lunation is happening in your second house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning and perhaps an ending because whenever we start something new, something has to come to an end. The second house is the house that rules over our earning ability. It rules over money and what we love and value. This is the house that rules over the mouth, what goes in and what comes out. The second house also rules over the family that we make with another person like a spouse or the friends that we have in our life for a very long time that we start to look at them as family. This is the house also that this is the house that also rules over our self esteem. If we're making a, if we're if we're making money, earning a good living, we feel good about ourselves. If we're not, we don't feel so great about ourselves. So there will be a new beginning in your earning ability. Some of you could be starting a brand new business at the time of this lunation, or you're at least thinking about it and putting things together and organizing and strategizing how you're going to do this. And some of you could be using this energy to start a new diet, a diet that will restrict certain foods, a diet that will require commitment. You'll be implementing eating habits that you're going to stick with for a long time while well, others of you could start an exercise regimen that will require perseverance and resilience. Uranus is currently transiting retrograde in your 10th house. The 10th house is a public house. Whatever happens here is known by everyone. The 10th house rules over our status in society. What do you do for a living? It rules over bosses and other authority figures. It also rules over the government. This is the area where you're going to have a sudden breakthrough or you're going to rebel. If you've been having challenges with an authority figure, perhaps your boss, perhaps you don't get along with your boss. The breakthrough in this area could be that your boss suddenly quits or your boss gets fired. Now you don't have to deal with this person anymore. Others of you could be the ones that get fired or you could be the one that suddenly decides to quit. And if I have to break this down a bit further, let's look at what Uranus rules in your chart. Uranus rules your descendant and that is your committed partnerships business partnerships so essentially some of you could be having a problem with your marriage your spouse or with your business partner perhaps there is a sudden break in the partnership or relationship 
leading to a divorce or, or a separation, therefore changing your, therefore suddenly changing your status. It all depends on what's really going on in your chart and what else is being aspected. Your ruling planet, the sun, is always a big part of any lunation and is being aspected by an opposition from Saturn. This is another serious and challenging aspect. You're facing opposition at this time and you're also being pushed into taking action. Saturn is a core ruler of Aquarius, your descendant, your partners. Your partnership area is coming into focus again by an opposition and a square aspect, signaling that there is a break here. And for some people, it could be you rebelling. It could be your partner rebelling. The breakthrough here is that now you're free of this relationship or business arrangement or a job where you're not feeling fulfilled. So Leo, this new moon and the other transits happening at this and the other transits happening in conjunction with it could absolutely turn the tables around in your life. Your life is changing. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Virgo Ascendant Sun or Moon. This lunation is happening in your first house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning. This is also where you'll have some endings because whenever we have a brand new beginning, we have to have some end. Something comes to an end. The first house is an angle house. And whenever an angle house is activated, it activates all the other angles in your chart. So this means that this one lunation could absolutely turn the tables in your life. This could be a life-changing lunation for you, Virgo. When an angle is activated, it activates all the other angles in your life. So this means that your relationships with others are going to change. Your relationships in your home area could also change. And the relationships in your work area will also be affected. And this is mostly because there is going to be a deep inner change within yourself or with how others see you or how you want others to see you. You're probably going to have a new way of presenting yourself to others. This could be a personality makeover. This could be a physical makeover where you change the way you dress, or perhaps you have a major change in the way you do your hair. Some of you could be changing your name at this time. Some of you could be coming out openly about how you identify sexually and your sexual, and your sexual preferences. And some of you could be deciding to have a sex change at this time. Whatever it is that you're going to change, whatever it is that you're going to start doing, is going to have other people see you in a different light. This lunation is all about you. So all the information in the introduction is really pertinent to you. So go back and listen to it. If you were born on the day of the new moon, a few days before, a few days after, this means that you're going to have this energy in your solar return chart. This is an excellent time for you to get a solar return chart reading with me so that we can find out which house this energy is activated in. This is the area where you're going to have brand new beginnings. New beginnings that are substantial enough to really change your life. Whenever you have a new moon in your solar return chart, this is the year that you remember starting. This is the year that you remember that your life took a different direction. There could be major endings and new beginnings. If this is your sun sign, the new beginnings could be with your identity. This could be with your public identity, your status in society, or a deep soul type of new beginning. There could also be a new beginning with a masculine energy in your chart or with the important males in your life, which could also include a major change in your status. And if Virgo is your moon sign, this lunation could be very personal and emotional. You're going to have a new way of relating with yourself emotionally and in your relationships with others. You could also have major changes in your home area or, or with that feminine energy in your chart or with important females in your life. There could be changes with your mother and your home. Some of you could have changes with your deep-seated deep resentments that you have towards your ancestry or with your home or perhaps your mother. And if it's your ascendant, it's very personal because it affects you and how others see you or how you want other people to see you. It's going to affect your body. It could affect your weight, your style, and how you present yourself to others or how you want other people to see you. Virgo, whatever changes you're making with yourself, you have to ask yourself, 
what are you going to achieve by making these changes these new beginnings are they really going to make you happy and i'm asking you to ask yourself these questions because your ruling planet mercury is not aspecting his own lunation mercury is transiting in a sign next to you so you cannot see what's going on with the lunation in your own house mercury is in the sign of leo just recently turned direct aspecting Uranus who's just turning retrograde a day before this lunation. This is a tough and challenging aspect. So perhaps you are delivering some unpleasant news to somebody else or you are the person on the receiving end of upsetting news. This means that whatever is happening at the new moon is probably going to push you into taking action. You have to keep in mind is that mercury in leo is transiting your 12th house this is an area where you are somewhat blind because this is the area of self-sabotage it's an area where we have to rely on psychic ability our subconscious or others to advise us what's going on in this area and you're also dealing with hidden enemies the good thing here is that mercury is your ruling planet it could also mean that you're in your head, you're overthinking situations, and this is making you highly anxious and sleepless. As I said earlier, this new moon is being opposed by Saturn. Saturn is currently transiting your seventh house. So it's others, business partnerships, your marriage partner, or anything that, or anyone that you have an agreement with is opposing you at this time. They are making high demands in the relationship or partnership, or there's some serious things that they're pointing out that you really need to look at or evaluate and decide if this is the type of business agreement, arrangement or marriage that you want to stay in moving forward. So if this arrangement does not make you happy, this could be you opting out of this situation. And if it's a legal agreement or like a marriage or a business partnership that where you sign somewhere on the dotted line, this is the time that you could be rebelling and breaking free of this relationship or something is going to happen when Uranus turns retrograde that is going to bring a breakthrough in this area. For some of you, it could be that you've been wanting to get serious with a business relationship or elevate a dating situation into a marriage but there's been some resistance or some difficulties in achieving this, this could be the time that the, whatever that blockage is released as a result of Uranus turning retrograde. And this is possible because Virgo, you are an earth sign. Taurus is an earth sign where he's transiting in your ninth house. There is a trine aspect between these two houses that is going to activate Uranus in a positive way. Virgo, this new moon and the other transits happening at this time could rock your world. Make sure you watch my other video on Pluto retrograding into the sign of retrograding into the sign of Capricorn. It's going to help you tie everything together. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Libra Ascendant Sun or Moon. This lunation is happening in your 12th house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning and perhaps some endings. Whenever we start something new, something has to come to an end. The 12th house is a hidden house. This is the house of sleep and rest. It is also the house of far off foreign lands. This house rules over places like hospitals, mental asylums, prisons, anything that is behind the scenes or situations where we're self-isolating. The 12th house is an area where we are blind. This is the area where we need somebody else's help to see what's going on in, in this house. This is also the house that rules over our hidden enemies. And sometimes our hidden enemy is ourself through self-sabotaging habits, like having illicit affairs, that married man that you're seeing or married woman that you're seeing not good for you they could be you could be exposed at this time all the bad habits that we have like eating too much doing drugs drinking too much anything that we do behind the scenes is going to be highlighted at this time some of you could have a new beginning because you've decided to stop self-sabotaging by getting help for your addictions so that means some of you could be going into rehab the 12th house also rules over generational karma and this is karma that we inherit from our previous generations something like if the men in your family were mostly alcoholics and now you're an alcoholic you could be deciding to cut 
cut the cords to this karma it's no longer your cross to carry in this lifetime so you're going to decide to end this karma by getting professional help so this lunation could be the beginning of some type of healing whether it's physical in a hospital or mental through spiritual guidance or therapy uranus is currently transiting retrograde in your eighth house this is another house that is complicated. It's a psychological house. It's a house of our secrets. Secrets that we keep from others and secrets that we keep, and sometimes secrets that we keep from ourselves. This is the house that rules over sex, death, and taxes. It rules other people's money and earned money, like inheritances financial windfalls, loans, stocks, anything to do with banks and big money. This is the house also of deep intimacy, of shared resources. Libra, it looks like you're dealing with a lot of hidden issues, issues that you can't, some issues that you have no control over because they're in the 12th house and the issues that you know of, but you also somewhat have no control or certain issues that you've been hiding from yourself. And these issues could be exposed suddenly by Uranus's retrograde motion. Secrets could be revealed at this time. And since Uranus makes things happen suddenly and unexpectedly, in the eighth house it could be that somebody who's been ill suddenly transitions to the other side or somebody else that's important to you could suddenly transition and their transitioning suddenly opens up an inheritance for you other people's money you could have a you could have a sudden financial windfall your ruling planet Venus is not aspecting this lunation and that's because Venus is currently transiting in your own sign where she is dominant so whatever is going on or falling apart at this time within your environment your sphere you're feeling pretty good about yourself and you're looking good so whenever we have Venus transiting our ascendant it makes us look good we become attracted we become attractive to others and it attracts goodness in our life it attracts goodness into our life. So this is very positive. This lunation is putting a spotlight on the things that are hidden from you or the things that you've been hiding from yourself. And this is time for you to get serious, deal with your hidden issues, deal with the secrets that are going to be exposed at this time. You're basically going to deal with the fallout very gracefully. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Scorpio Ascendant Sun or Moon. The new moon is happening in your 11th house. This is where you're going to have a brand new beginning and possibly some endings because whenever we begin something new, something has to end. The 11th, the 11th house is a happy house. I love to see lunations in this house. And this is because this is the house of our hopes, dreams, and wishes. It is a house of wish fulfillment. Some of you could be having a new beginning in that something that you've been longing to initiate a project or a business an internet business a youtube channel an instagram cha an instagram channel all this is now possible because of the two luminaries spotlighting this area however whatever you're going to start is going to require you to be dedicated and be aware of the rules and regulations because saturn is across the table looking at whatever it is that you are initiating the 11th house also rules over our elder siblings, our uncles, our aunties. It rules over our friends, the groups that we belong to, social media platforms, the and, and the organizations that we're a part of. Some of you could have a new beginning with a friend or starting a business with a friend or starting a social media business with a friend like a YouTube channel. The 11th house is the house that rewards all the work that we did in the 10th house. This is the house where we receive the financial windfalls, the promotions, and the accolades, all, all recognition among our peers. So if you've had a YouTube channel for a long time and you haven't really had any traction, haven't had any real traction with subscribers or views, this could be the time that you see an uptick in your business. Uranus is currently transiting your seventh house. This is where you're going to have some type of breakthrough or this is where somebody is going to rebel. And this is most likely your partner who's going to be rebelling because Taurus is your descendant. It rules other people in your life, 
the people who you have committed partnerships with, like your spouse, so something to do with your marriage, your business partnerships, or anybody that you have some type of exchange with. These are the people who are going to be rebelling or acting in a surprising and unusual way. So if you've been involved in a long-term relationship or a marriage business partnership that has not really been working out, Uranus is going to cause a breakthrough. Your partner may rebel against you, or you are the one who's going to encourage the rebellion, leading your partner to break up with you. So some people are are going to be separating with their partners as a result of these transits. For some of you, it could be that this is the rebellion that you've been waiting for. You've been wanting your partner to be the one that initiates the breakup. So this could be positive. And why I'm saying it could be positive is because your sign aspects, the sign of Virgo in a sextile aspect, which is an aspect of opportunity. So maybe this is what you've been waiting for in order to move your other intentions or projects in a different direction. So this could essentially spell freedom for some of you, Scorpio. Your ruling planet Mars is not touching this lunation. However, Mars is involved in a negative aspect, a square aspect to Neptune, who's currently transiting the sign, who's currently transiting the sign of Pisces, your, your fifth house. And Mars is currently transiting Gemini at the anoretic degree. There isn't negative square aspect between these two planets, Neptune and Mars. I spoke about this aspect at length in the introduction. I'm just going to tell you that this is an aspect that's going to put this is an aspect that could push you into taking action and this action could have negative consequences neptune in the fifth house could be that you're out there partying and drinking a lot or doing drugs and then you meet up with mars in a square aspect which could cause a lot of delusion and taking negative action. So avoid drinking and driving or doing drugs and trying to take aggressive action. You're not going to like the consequences of your actions. Your other ruling planet Pluto just recently went to retrograde. I did an extensive video on this transit. So I'm going to recommend that you go back and listen to that video and tie in the aspects of Pluto at the time of this lunation. Scorpio, all the transits that are being activated at this time are going to certainly turn the tables in your life. You have oppositions from your partnership area where, to, where Uranus is currently transiting and partnerships could be ending at this time. And you have your ruling planet Pluto retrograding back into the sign of Capricorn, bringing back, how, bringing back issues in your third house. And then you have this new moon in the 11th house that's asking you to get really serious about the new beginnings that you're going to initiate because Saturn is across looking at you from the fifth house. He's restricting you somehow in this area. He's restricting all the excessive partying and self-delusion in this area. It's time to get serious. If you want to achieve your hopes, dreams, and wishes. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own NATO placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Sagittarius Ascendant Sun or Moon. This lunation is happening in your 10th house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning and perhaps an ending because whenever we begin something new, something has to come to an end. The 10th house is an angle house and whenever something is activated in this area, it activates all the other angles in your life and whatever happens here is something that the whole is something that the public is going to know about. This lunation could absolutely turn the tables in your life because it's affecting your opposite angle, the fourth house, your home area where your heart is. It's also affecting your ascendant because of the square to the ascendant. And then also the opposite, and it's also affecting your relationships, your business partnerships, because it's squaring this area too. If you've been looking for work for a long time, this is the time that you're going to find gainful employment. So it means that some of you could be starting work as a result of this lunation. And for those of you that are already working, it could be that you have a new beginning with the rules and the regulations in your job area. How you do your work on a daily basis is probably going to change. Some of you could be moving up to a new department. The 10th house rules of our status in society. It rules our bosses. It, rules, it also rules over our authority figures, the government. It's also a parental axis. It rules over the more dominant parent. This means that some of you could have a new beginning that has something to do with your father. 
or your mother if she was the more dominant parent. And since Virgo rules the sixth house of the zodiac, which I spoke at length about, which I spoke at length about in the introduction, the sixth house rules over our daily routine. It rules over the work that we do on a daily basis. It rules over our pet. It rules over our co-workers. It also rules over our health, diet, and exercise regimen. It rules over how we serve others. So some of you could be having a new beginning, new beginning, a job in one of these in, in one of these topics. And I say this because Uranus is currently transiting your sixth house. This is the area where you're going to have a breakthrough. And I did give my personal example of what happened when Uranus turned retrograde in my sixth house. I interviewed for a job that I was eventually hired for the day that Uranus turned retrograde. So this was an area of my life where there was stagnancy. Nothing was working out. Nothing was moving. I wasn't getting interviews. And suddenly as Uranus turned retrograde, I got in. I got an interview and got hired in a very unusual profession, work that I had never done before. The message here is you have to keep an open mind to doing work that is different and unusual, something that you've probably never, something that, something that you've probably never considered or done before. This is how you use this energy. And when Uranus is transiting your sixth house, you have to be open to part-time work because it's going to be very difficult for you to find work that is going to stay stable for a very long time. Or if it does stay stable, it's going to end it's, it's going to come to an abrupt end suddenly like it did for me during the pandemic the finding of the job was sudden and unexpected and the ending was also sudden and unexpected so this means that the nine to five type of job that you're used to might not be the job that opens up for you at this time. Others of you could have a breakthrough in your health. Perhaps you're going to find the right treatment or medication for your illness. Others of you could have a breakthrough in a pet. It could be that you get this sudden opportunity to adopt a lovely pet. Your ruling planet Jupiter is currently transiting the sign of Gemini. He's not aspecting this lunation. And that is because you're probably still dealing with what happened with the Mars-Jupiter conjunction in the sign of Gemini, which could have probably brought a break in a relationship or a business partnership. And not to mention the square from Saturn, who's currently transiting the sign of Pisces. Sagittarius is going through a lot from all angles. You're being opposed and you're being squared. It means that other people are against you, opposing you, and some situations are pushing you into taking action. I would advise you to be really careful. Think over the decisions that you're going to be making at this time because they have lasting, they will have lasting consequences. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you if evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Capricorn Ascendant Sun or Moon. This lunation is happening in your ninth house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning and perhaps some endings because whenever we start something new, something has to come to an end. Ninth house is the house of our hope in the future. It rules over our future. It rules over our belief system and usually the belief system was passed down to us from other people who we respect and look up to. This house also rules over foreign lands, foreign languages, foreign people. It also rules over the justice system. This is the house where we legalize things. It also rules over higher education, religion, priests, professors, and gurus. If you've been wanting to travel to a foreign land, this could be you starting the preparation, getting all the paperwork together, applying for your visa, everything that you need to do in order to everything that you need to organize in order to make this trip happen. Others of you could already be living in a foreign country and you have a new beginning because you're now getting your green card or perhaps your citizenship. Others of you could have a new beginning with another person in a foreign land because you're getting married. It doesn't have to be a foreign land. You could be getting married, marriage being something that needs to be legalized. Uh, others of you could have a new beginning in that you're suing somebody, so you're initiating a lawsuit at this time. While some of you could be having a new beginning in your studies, you could be starting university at the time of this lunation. Uranus is currently transiting your fifth house. The fifth house is a lucky house. It's a house of our creativity and our greatest creation are our children. So essentially, it could mean that you are preparing your children for school season 
or it could be you who's deciding to stop partying too much deciding to get serious so you can perform well at university and this could be so because this lunation is being opposed by saturn saturn is your ruling planet this means that you have the upper hand here you are the one who's setting the rules and regulations that you have to abide by you know exactly what you need to do you know exactly what you need to give up in order to get serious some of you could be ending a summer fling at this time because perhaps you've realized that this relationship is not going to progress into anything serious and it's time for you to let it go so that you can concentrate on your future, on your future studies or the direction that your life is taking. Th that does not include that loser that is dragging you down. And they don't have to be a loser. It could be that you just realize that you need to stop this lifestyle. Having frivolous relationships and flings that don't lead to anything, uh, that don't ever amount to anything serious, which your ruling planet Saturn is asking you to get serious about. If you've been having problems with one of your children, this could be the time when you have a breakthrough in this area, especially if your children have been acting unruly or just making bad decisions. And for those Capricorns that are creatives, if you've been trying to create something and you've been blocked for a very long time, this is the time that you will have a breakthrough when Uranus moves retrograde. You could create a masterpiece at this time or you could suddenly come up with a great idea for a business. And since Uranus makes things happen suddenly and unexpectedly, if you're feeling lucky, this could be a breakthrough at the casino or with a lucky break or with a lucky lottery ticket. Just don't gamble away all your money. If you're a Capricorn who is pregnant and you're going and you've gone past your delivery date, Uranus could suddenly shake things up, break your water and suddenly have you go into delivery, especially with the energy of the new moon, which is opening up your future, your future, your future with your child or with your creative project. We can also be pregnant with creative ideas. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Aquarius Ascendant Sun or Moon. This lunation is happening in your eighth house. This is where you'll have a brand new beginning or an ending because whenever we start something new, something else always comes to an end. The eighth house is a psychological house. This is the area where we keep our secrets, secrets that we keep from others and sometimes even from ourselves. The eighth house rules over an earned income, other people's money like mortgages, wind financial windfalls inheritances it also rules over sex death and taxes this is the house where we bond with another person it's a house it's a house of deep intimacy and shared resources this is also a house where things come to an end if you had applied for a mortgage you could get approved for a mortgage so now you have a new beginning because you have new loan payments and of course, with Saturn looking across on the, from the other side, you have to get serious about your expenditures because when Saturn is transiting the second house, it somewhat restricts our money or it puts limitations. It somehow restricts our income or it makes us work hard for the money. So you're going to be really thinking about this new mortgage payment or perhaps some of you, it could be a new increased rental payment because your fourth house is also activated. Remember Uranus is transiting Taurus and going retrograde in your fourth house. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Others of you could have a new beginning because you've been approved for a car loan and now you have a car payment. Others of you could have a new beginning in a long-term relationship because you've decided to move in together and share resources. So the intimacy is going to be deepened and you're sharing resources. Some of you can have a new beginning because you have inherited some money from a relative who has passed on. The eighth house is after all the house of death and transformation. So you have this new beginning because now you have financial freedom. With the two luminaries in a dark place like the eighth house, they will highlight whatever is hidden in that area and it could be secrets. Our secrets are going to come up or our psychological issues that we've been suppressing are going to come up to be dealt with. So the new beginning for you is that you decide to go and get professional help through therapy.
back to Uranus who's shaking the ground shaking your foundations the fourth house rules over our home it rules over our mother it rules over our ancestry it also rules over our deep resentments that we could have about our ancestry or about our mother these issues are going to be suddenly be brought up to be dealt with this is the area where you're going to have a breakthrough Uranus is your ruling planet you're an active participant in this breakthrough or rebellion. You could be the person that is rebelling and changing your mind about something, a decision that you had made about your living situation, home, or something to do with your emotions and your mother. Some of you could suddenly move homes at this time. If you've been looking for a place to live and it's been somewhat challenging, something could unexpectedly show up. This could be a living situation that is unique, but, but could be ideal for what you need right now. That is a sudden move from the home. And a sudden breakthrough for people who've been looking for a place and couldn't find one. Let's also keep in mind that your ruling planet is being squared by Mercury, who's transiting Leo, your opposite sign, your partner, your, and that is your descendant, your partnership area. So perhaps some of you are going to receive upsetting news about a partner or a business partnership that is suddenly going to make you change your mind about certain decisions that you made when mercury was transiting retrograde mercury is now transiting direct and you can see things clearly and now you're asking yourself mercury is asking you to think about what do you really love and value what type of person do you want to merge with bond with on an intimate level perhaps some of you are considering moving in with a partner at this time Aquarius, there's so many planets speaking at the same time, at the time of this lunation. So it's very difficult for me to tell you exactly how it's going to work out for you. I'm going to recommend that you book a reading with me if you want to know how this is going to affect you personally. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com. Pisces Ascendant Sun or Moon. This lunation is happening in your seventh house. This is where you're going to have a brand new beginning and perhaps some endings. Uh, the seventh house is an angle house. And whenever an angle house is activated, it activates all the other angles in your chart. So this one lunation could absolutely change your life. This lunation is highlighting your partnership area. Your partners in this situation have a lot of say, they have a lot of power in what is going on here. And this is where you're going to, so you're going to essentially have a brand new beginning in, in your committed partnerships. If you've been dating someone for a long time, this could be the time that you decide to get married. And this is because Saturn, who's currently transiting your sign, is opposing this lunation and asking you to make a commitment or break off relationships that are not going anywhere. So some of you could be feeling a little bit down and depressed or restricted at the time of this lunation because there's a serious element of your relationship that you have to face. So this means that some of you could essentially be deciding to get married at the time of this lunation. Just keep in mind that this marriage is going to require some work because Saturn is opposing it. And an aspect from Saturn could actually be beneficial because it's asking you to mature up to get serious and to commit fully to this person. Also adhere to the rules of the marriage. Uranus is currently transiting your third house. The third house rules over our immediate environment. It rules over our siblings and our neighbors. It rules over our learning. It rules over our learning ability. It also rules over our small gadgets that we use every day, like our computers and our phones. The third house also rules over the mind. So you're probably having really unusual thoughts. Your thinking could be very erratic and at a fast pace at this time. And this could be causing you mental issues. If your relationships with your siblings or your neighbors have been somewhat unstable, there could be one of you could be rebelling. It could be you or it, it could be you against them or them against you. And perhaps this needed to happen because you have something to say and this is your breakthrough moment to let people know what is exactly on your mind and how you want things done in your neighborhood or in the relationship with your siblings. The third house rules our immediate environment. Our immediate environment, of course, is where we live. Some of you could suddenly decide to move from your home, to move to a totally brand new neighborhood, a neighborhood that you had never thought that you would be able to live in before. 
So some of you could be moving from a big house with a lot of land and moving to a condo or an apartment. And for you and your lifestyle, that is something very, that is something very different and unusual. And if you've been learning a new skill or a language and for some reason you just simply could not understand it or you were blocked in some way, this is the time that you have a breakthrough and you're able to understand difficult aspects of your training or of, a new, or, or of learning a new language. And if you're a writer and you've been blocked, you've been experiencing writer's block, this could be the time that you have a breakthrough and all these different thoughts and ideas come rushing in at, all at the same, all at once. Uh, leading you to have a breakthrough and write a masterpiece. Your ruling planet Jupiter is not aspecting this lunation. Jupiter is currently transiting in the sign of Gemini and separating from Mars. There is still the square aspect from Saturn. So you're still dealing with what happened as a result of those, as a result of those two aspects. Pisces is getting empowered because Saturn, the planet that is aspecting this lunation in an opposition, is transiting your sign. So you have this opportunity to get serious discipline yourself stick with whatever it is that you're initiating see it through that it has to do something personally with you or with others you're probably not going to have much of a choice in the situations that are going to come up you have to stick with the rules and the regulations or the judgments that are going to come up if you've been involved in a dispute remember mercury is transiting in leo in the sixth house this is the area where we have this is the area where we fight this is the area where we have disputes this is also the area where we can hire an attorney to defend us so you're probably hearing upset upsetting news, upsetting communication from the sixth house area because of the square aspect to Uranus, who's currently transiting in your third house, bringing up unexpected communications. And in this instance, most likely upsetting communications. If you've not listened to the introduction of this video, I'm going to suggest that you go back and listen to the entire introduction. The information in the introduction is going to help you evaluate how this lunation is going to affect you according to your own natal placements. And if you need further guidance, I suggest that you take advantage of my $80 mini reading special so that we can go over your chart. Book me at rachel-mayo.com.